take everything you know about a travel trailer and throw it away. That's that's the best thing I can think of to tell you when you're looking at this 340 FLR Journeyer by Open Range here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. I guess if I had to put my finger on it, uh, the way they got to this type of product is they said, okay, let's wipe the slate clean. What if we never ever built a travel trailer before? What if this was the first travel trailer made? With all the new ideas and processes and materials, how would we build it? And this is what they came up with. Unfortunately, it's really crappy weather today, and I can't show you my very favorite feature on this. You see that there's these weird tracks right here. This entire slide out has a deck that folds down off of it. This has its own built-in patio deck. You see it even has its own built-in patio awning uh, that is separate from your normal patio awning. Everything on this RV is completely unique like that. You see that this thing has a big body. This is not a camera illusion. I don't use uh, camera tricks and fisheye lenses. This thing is exceptionally tall. It has a north-south radius sweep, front to back radius that you can see right there. A lot like a fifth wheel. And that's the cool thing is this is somewhere between a fifth wheel and a travel trailer and it's 100% awesome. Kind of like a fifth wheel would normally have that big front pass-through storage, this has a rear pass-through storage because this is a rear bedroom, a front living room. Um, easy access spare tire, uh, your battery case is down here, I have a power box hooked up so it can turn on lights and whatnot. Uh, you see this is a gigantic big uh, tire that you normally do not see on a travel trailer but a fifth wheel. You see propane on the left and the right. Uh, that is because this has uh, up to 80 gallons of propane capacity, up to four 20-pound tanks. Um, six shipped from the manufacturer. Uh, there is actually a uh, regulation from RVIA that says how many propane connections they can build into an RV, but they do ship you the hardware to hook up the fourth tank if you want it. Notice too, the storage comes to you. The tanks come to you, and they're 20 pounds, not 30s. They're A, easier to swap out, and B, they're easier to take uh, in on and off. They're lighter weight, they're smaller. Every single open range RV, including this journeyer, is zero degree tested. And that's the question you need to ask yourselves. Everybody's always, what, what are the R factors? What are the R factors? Um, R, R factors are a tricky game because you can't disprove somebody. What if they tell you it's R factor 50? You can't disprove them. You have no way of knowing that's not true. But zero degree testing, that is a concrete number that can be statistically tested and backed up. This right here has a floating island. Um, oh, before I forget, you might see like the color schemes you're looking at here, that patio party deck option that you're looking at. Those are um, not standard equipment. Not every single 340 FLR might be equipped the same way. This is generally how we will equip ours. But you know, things like the fabrics and the pictures might look different from this video, that's why. So back to the point, we have a floating island kitchen here. And this thing is pure storage is what's nice too. There's storage all the way through it. You have a full pair of pull out drawers. It's a little cold today, obviously you can tell by the snow, so the drawer latches are grabby. But you can move this thing anywhere you want. You can, heck, you can take it right out of the camper if you don't want it in here at all. But notice that even the island kitchen has Corian countertops just like the rest of the kitchen. It's so nice. There's so much consistency there. Now, um, every single open range is zero degree tested. Every single um, uh, open range also is wide body. Instead of 96 inch, AKA eight foot wide construction, this is a 100 inch wide body coach. That means bigger living space, not to mention how astronomically tall this thing is. It is huge in here. Like I said, you feel like you're in a fifth wheel. If you just sit in these chairs and open your eyes, you feel like you're in a fifth wheel. And the bedroom even looks like a fifth wheel. But what's cool is this is a front living with huge front windows. You can see they're letting in so much light they're playing with my camera. So you get all of this light. You get to look out. Like if you're parked by a lake and you're looking out when this thing is encrusted over with ice, it is gonna look absolutely awesome. Trifold memory foam hide a bed sofa so that uh, you know you have an easier place to sleep guest uh, Sets up quickly very comfortable. We've upgraded the chairs to recliners as you see But what's awesome is these are wall huggers. So uh, you can see right here. I had them both set in the same place This one's pretty close to that window. This one's actually a little further away So uh, you know you can set this thing right against the wall You can flip the latch and it's not gonna smash anything when it opens up now this dining table, if you saw in the pictures, 
It doesn't just extend. It has two extension leaves you can add. You can add one if you want to, but you can add up to two. And if you want to move these two chairs out of the way, you have easy access to your full walkout patio. And again, summertime by the lake, everybody's going to love your camper and they're going to hate you for having it. <laughs> uh, corner entertainment, which is awesome because that means that everybody in the living room gets a good view of the TV. It doesn't matter where you're standing, every single person gets a good shot at this thing. Now what's really cool is every ounce of storage counts and they're really good about that at open range. So they even hide storage behind the TV. Every single nook and cranny they can, they will open up for storage. We have a, a fifth wheel style sound bar here in a travel trailer. Again, this thing really blurs the lines between the one and the other. Uh, the DV1200 uh, stereo here, it's all in one, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth enabled, high def, you know, it just does, it does everything. Um, your fireplace here is an electric space heater, so that will help take the chill out of the air, uh, you know, when you're spring and your fall. When it's really cold, though, you actually don't want to run that. You want to just turn your furnace up really hard so that it forces air through the underbelly, because this does have a forced air heated underbelly. That's one of the ways it achieves that zero degree testing. This has an eight cubic foot refrigerator. Most travel trailers and many fifth wheels are going to have a six cubic foot, so this is 33% bigger. Um, uh, your kitchen storage, I'm only going to show you just a smidgen of it here, but it's all intelligent. The storage comes to you. You don't go to the storage. That's exactly how it should be built. <clears throat> Notice little things too, like they have their own little pull-out garbage can access here. Um, and all of these big overhead doors, they're all shelved. You have twice the storage in here, so a lot of manufacturers will give you the illusion of a big shelf, a big cabinet. But you're going to waste all this upper space if that shelf isn't there. This thing is absolutely made smart from the ground up. And you're going to see things like nicer residential hinges that are reserved usually for fifth wheels. Oops. In a travel trailer here. Um, I know I'm missing stuff, but I'm, uh, I'm kind of flying through here. Oh, an actual backsplash. You can actually, if you listen, that's my, my finger is running over this stuff. An actual nice backsplash. Not, um, I don't know, it seems like a lot of manufacturers will put wallpaper there, and I never understood that decision. It's an RV. You don't want wallpaper where there's going to be grease. Now, this bathroom is highly unusual for a travel trailer. We have a full porcelain stool, not plastic. Now, if you want to actually get dressed, you can do that. This is a bathroom that actually allows you to put on a pair of pants without smacking your head against the countertop. This whole section over here is really cool. And uh, when I first looked at it, I thought, wow, that kind of looks like, um, you know, a laundry area at your house. And that's actually exactly what it is. This is washer dryer prepped in a travel trailer. How cool is that? Now you have this gigantic upper closet here, and I was like, oh, that's just a big medicine cabinet. And it kind of is. It's just huge storage. Now, I'm tall. I'm like 6'3". I'm in the upper deck of this travel trailer. There's no step up past the point of where I'm at, and you can see all the headroom I have above my head here. Um, we have a nice medicine cabinet here, so you can actually keep your shavers and your toothpaste off of the countertop. And I do love the shower in this thing. This does have a nice looking fifth wheel style shower. Again, in a travel trailer. And again, if you close your eyes and just open them right here, you'd be like, oh, this is, I've, this is a fifth wheel. I've seen one of these before, but it's a travel trailer. It's kind of cool. It has an upper deck level for your bedroom and your bathroom in a travel trailer. And that is what's getting us that huge mega pass through storage on the uh, exterior. Um, you know, again, I apologize that the weather's not really cooperating today, that uh, I kind of have to cut short half of this tour. I'd really like to spend more time outside, but it's, I just really encourage you to come see one of these in person because once you've seen one of these, it's, it's like there's no way to unsee it. You'll never see another thing like this. They are so unique and so awesome. Uh, again, if, if you, if you have something you want to have parked out by like a destination, like a lake or something like that. It's absolutely perfect. This is this is one of the coolest travel trailers I've ever seen. 800-256-5196. Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camp.